Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm interested in buying a boat, a yacht. That is, it's for my uncle, and he's in Manhattan, and I told him I'd check out some of the workmanship here, etc., etc. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. Let me get some pictures to send to your uncle, and uh, this is my card in case he wants to contact me himself. Oh, how well, grand. Uh, I think I already have the yacht that I want in mind, actually. Oh? Yes, yes, I saw it in the harbor early today. It's quite a beauty. I, I didn't really have a name, but I saw the maker of it was called Castaway. Oh, well, Castaway makes the best. You've got good taste. Uh, let me see if I can find a picture of the latest model. Oh, there's a handsome one, yes? Oh, yes, handsome, handsome, I must say. Don't think... I do believe the one I saw was a bit larger than this. Oh, how big was it? Oh, I must say at least 40 feet, maybe bigger. Oh, and very expensive. Mm. Aha. So you sell a lot of those big ones, yes? Well, unfortunately, no. Uh, I just sold one recently, uh, last, last month. Really? Yeah. Well, that could be the yacht I'm talking about. It looked brand new to me. Well, could be. Yeah, let me show you some beauties. I wonder if it would be helpful to my uncle if he were able to talk directly to the owner of that yacht. Would it be at all possible to somehow... Uh, Give me uh, the name of the owner, something like that. Uh... Um, well, you may have hit on a good idea. <laughs> See, his name was uh, Frederick Bellows. Bellows. Yeah, this is the invoice. Uh, unfortunately, there's no address or phone number. Oh, I remember. He was in the process of moving from out of town to uh, Port Charles. Bellows. By George, my wife knows somebody by that name. Bellows, yes. I've seen her talking about him. Could you describe the man to me? Bellows, it's ringing a bell. I know. Well, um, he's about six feet tall, brown eyes, brown hair. Ah, of course, that's my man. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the investigation at this time. In fact, the police aren't even ready to release Labor's motives for the shooting. Don't mean to interrupt your program there. Anybody see you come in? No, I snuck in via the basement. You know this officer? I've seen him around. I don't really know him. Why? Just curious. All right, what's uh, the story on this yacht? Well, according to the salesman, it was sold by a group down at the waterfront. They sold it to a guy named Frederick Bellows. No address, no phone number. Any address on the invoice? According to the salesman, no. <sighs> Apparently, this guy's in transition, moving in town from somewhere out of the country, maybe. Uh, the way they describe him, it sounds like Bellows is the man we're looking for, and the guy that got on the yacht with Philip. Okay, we'll put Bellows through the computer. I want you to sit down now and make a list of everyone you know who's connected to Duke and Damon. This is our laundry list, huh? All right, Mr. Bellows, who are you and where are you? Hmm. Frederick Bellows is an alias. One of eight aliases used by a minor crime figure has been out of the country for some time. Sounds like our LRB slash Henderson. Hmm. You know, something big is definitely in the works when a couple of uh, expatriate crims turn up in a small place like Port Charles. Shades of Appalachia. And what's Appalachia? It was before your time. It was a momentous meeting of... Uh, the mob in upstate New York. A similar thing could be happening here. His names I came up with. Who's Angus Mackay? He's a biggie. The night the Duke got me off the hook, showing the printout, mm -hmm. saved me and Felicia, this guy shows up with a couple of goons. He's obviously running the show over there. All right, let's run him through a higher intelligence. Accessible at this time. Try again. Well, there's no point us uh, trying to use Martha. We struck it on that last time. What 
about Stan Radner? He's the guy who started this whole ball of wax. He's the first one I got onto down at the waterfront, brought Anna and Ramsey down on me. Okay. This is your boy? That's him. Hmm. All right, Stan. Radner picked up for speeding yesterday in St. George, Utah. Not recognized by officer because of beard. Radner disappeared by the time officer realized who he was. Police on lookout in all four corners state. You can't just pull him over and tell me. Might get some answers from him. Yeah, well, I don't have the time right now. I'll be going to see Bert. Anything I can do in the meantime? Yeah, stick around here. Now, I'm going to find Sean and tell him to come over here. Tell him everything you know. Uh, he will help you uh, program the computer for some more sophisticated questions on, uh, on Bellows. If we're lucky, we'll come up with something. With all these mobs in town, I think we're under something a whole lot bigger than we thought.